You, you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Let's discover hard couple months, but it's in this position enough so you can know what's up in the hood. Alright, so we just, we just walking around asking people questions, simple questions. You know, it's gonna be fun. First question, um, what does love mean to you? Oh man, that's a hard one. Um, I think love is just like accepting a person for who they are and how they come and not judging them for that. Question is, what is love? What is love? Yes. Um, maybe it's some feelings that you have and also it's a commitment to care for other people or something else that's not people. If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Oh, I think we need a little bit more kindness right now. And maybe we need to listen a little bit more. How would you do that? Well, I guess you have to start with yourself and the people you know. Welcome to Hardcover News. Today we'll be discussing the progress of the LGBT community and the discrimination within it. I'm Mariana. And I'm Caleb. And, and we bring you Life in, in the, the LGBT, LGBT Community. community. What does it mean to me? I mean, that's just who I am. I mean, if you're labeling it bisexual since I was a very young age, I think I figured it out. The first person I was ever attracted to was a girl. And I didn't understand like what any of that meant necessarily. It um but it was it was very prevalent and it was something that was just there and I knew it was there and I am an incredibly headstrong person so I just refused to ever be weird about it. It was just who I was. Being an ally means to me um standing up for other people even though they might identify as something different than me. What it means to me is, is letting people accept who they is and um, it's like be proud of who you are. Some strides definitely in the right direction as far as um, the countercultural groups all com coming together and blanketing themselves under under one sign like LGBTQ community. It's come really far in the past 20 years because um, almost recently gay people were allowed to be married and stuff like that and that would, didn't happen like almost 10 years ago and that was pretty much shunned upon. Well, it's been a lot. It gone real far during the past um, years. I've been noticing it. Um, oh, over the years, I've been alive. Cause over the time, it, it got uh, it increased it, and it's like a lot of people coming out. Uh, a lot of people are um, fighting on what they believe in, what is right. To they want to uh, to like on making people accept who they is. I mean, there's there's just a lot of progress that still has to be made. It's come a long way. It's not as divided the click in the 90s. I remember lesbian groups being their group, bisexual groups being their group, gay, mainly gay white men having their group. And I don't feel like it's as greatly as divided as it once was, but there's still a lot of progress to be done. Um, I do think we still have more work to do because People are still, like, there's still discrimination upon the LGBT community because, like, people put their own beliefs before the feelings of others. The only thing I think we should do is, like, just, like, 
Um, just follow your own way. If you don't agree with it, do you do your thing. If you don't, if you do agree with it, do you do your thing. And um, and it's like just, just follow your own path on what you believe in this or not. Now, despite the remarkable progress that on gaining the rights and respect the LGBT community deserves, there is still some discrimination outside of the community, and surprisingly, even within it especially discrimination towards those who identify as non-binary gender spectrum. Wait, what is the non-binary gender spectrum? I'm glad you asked, Mariana. Gender is what you identify as, as in your mind, what you feel you are, while sex is your biological sex or the person you were born with. These parts can either be the same or different from your gender. If they are the same, you are known as cisgender, or where both your identity and your biological sex are the same. On the other hand, if they are opposite from each other, you are known as transgender, or where you are have body parts of a male, but you identify as a female, or you have body parts of a female, but you identify as a male. Now there is a lot of genders in between the traditional male and female genders. For example, a demigirl is someone who partially identifies as a woman, but not wholly. Another example of a non-binary gender or a gender that is outside of the traditional male and female genders and known as genderless or genderqueer. Well, now that makes more sense. And you know, I've heard a lot about people who have identified as genderqueer or bigender and are accused of saying that their identity isn't real, that they have to be one or the other. You're right. That is true. Although, it's important not to confuse gender identity with sexual orientation because even bisexuals face a similar situation they that they have to pick on one or the other and they have and they are merely curious but that's a different topic altogether discrimination on social media and on the news on people talking about uh, a certain person because they claim who they what they is, they probably saying it's not right, or some people are saying it is right, and whatever they put in religious and anything like that. Like it's a part, it's uh, certain, it's, it's like uh, there's reason for discrimination like that. So I've seen it so far. I haven't, but I know people who have, and like in school and stuff. And when you're bisexual, yeah. I've lost friends over it. I've had family members who don't want me around their children. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention before when you asked me that, though, is like, it, there's a level that happens interacting, especially like I find when I interact with homosexual, or uh, heterosexual men, where, yeah, like a bit, it becomes like this, like, topic of conversation that doesn't necessarily need to be talked about as much as they want to because then you're a fantasy. Well, yeah, I'm aware of it because like uh, I've been around people who've been like that and I've been seeing on social media and a lot of people and really religious people who uh, who really do things like that. Um, yes. Recently, I learned about that. Discrimination in and of itself will always happen anytime anybody steps outside of the lines that we're supposed to cut, that society tells us that we're supposed to color in. That's always going to be the fact of the matter. Um, as far as what can happen to make it so that that doesn't happen any longer within this community, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it people's open-mindedness in general in the world just has to change. People have to start recognizing people as one race and not 
color, sexual orientation, what, how you identify in the world that you live in. Like that's not, that's not the point. It's the character and quality of the human being, not those things. My my advice on what I gotta say on them is like, if you don't agree with anything like that, you should just like follow your own path. If you don't, they got like you should think like it should have nothing to do with you and whatever you think and just like like keep your mind to yourself. Like don't like don't put yourself into that situation or let's like, cause more problems for everybody. I believe that just because. You don't understand or you don't know about a certain thing doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. I believe you should put yourself in their shoes because if someone feels something, it's true. It's their feelings and regardless of how you feel about it, you should put yourself in their shoes and yeah. Um, well, I mean, that, uh, yeah, open, open your mind. Like, that's not your decision. That's not your life to lead. Like, people like to sit around and judge everybody because it makes them feel better. I mean, I think Baldwin said it best. It's like, it, if people have to say, if people, I'm, and I'm paraphrasing, and basically it's like if people are scared and racism and homophobia and all of these other phobias exist because if you have to get over it and you actually have to look at the human race and the things that we've done to one another all you're left to deal with is pain people are scared of that people don't want to deal with that so it's way easier to judge somebody and make them feel bad because it makes you feel good it's just simpler. It's easier to wrap your head around sitting down and trying to figure out like why somebody says this or why somebody does that is a hard thing to do. And especially if you don't agree with it. If for whatever reason, if it's for religious reasons or your own personal beliefs, opening your mind up to other people and listening, that's a hard thing to do. But that's what has to happen. That's what I would say, stop putting your finger on it. Like, stop trying to label it. Thank you, Chicago, for taking this time to watch this program. And please consider others' feelings when it comes to their gender identity. Even if they're non-binary, we're all still people. I'm Caleb. And I'm Mariana. And, and this, this was Hardcover News. News. What is love? Love is when you know someone and you know them well and you see them for who they really are and you still want to spend time with them and take care of them and help them live a good life. It's like the best thing in the world, the most powerful drug in the world. Uh, yeah, like love like overrides all. Too pretty to be crying. Where the hell were you yesterday? I was, I'm sorry. I was with my mom. It doesn't matter. You're always doing crap for your mom. Why don't she, you, what, she about about what about me? What about What is she? What do you I mean, told what about me? I was going to be late. Look, okay. It doesn't baby, matter. No, down. no. This is. <sighs> hey, are you okay? Do I look okay? I'm gonna kill him, I swear. Don't cry, your mascara is running. You're terrible. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Marina. I'm Pepper. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Pepper. Do you wanna go somewhere? Where? Anywhere. Come on, let's go. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> 
Marina! Hi. Where the hell have you been? Um... We what? What were you, ditching? Dude, you need to chill. It's not that serious. Who the hell are you? No, no, okay. come on, no, let's go. Hey, Chris. Oh, hey, Marina. How are you? I'm good, how about you? I'm all right, look, um, I'm sorry about yesterday. That was totally unnecessary. No, 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 it's fine. It was okay. Seth's fault. He shouldn't have been posed, you know. Yeah. But we were having such a great time, you know. Yeah. It's not your fault. No, dude, it's totally my fault. It is. We should definitely have, like, you know, maybe stayed in the school or something. No, but That's my Seth fault, you know. I was... Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I had fun yesterday. Yeah, me too. Did you see? He was so mad. I know. That was so uncomfortable. I'm gonna put you on a leash. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so he has some serious problems. He needs to stop being so territorial over you. I feel bad, but it's kind of like, why are you crazy? <laughs> why are you crazy? Dude, oh and the way he freaking punched the freaking locker that one day. Did you oh see my me god. jump? <laughs> like, oh my god. I feared for your life. Oh God. He has some anger oh issues. Why do you even like him? That's crazy. Well, I mean, he has a really good scholarship, you know? Yeah, but what about his personality? Like, well, I mean, he just, he's kind of impatient, I guess. Yeah, but you, know, you haven't told me anything why you like him. Well, my parents like him. That's not good enough. You have to, you have to pick someone who you love, not some, someone that your parents pick out for you. That's true. He's not good for you. He really isn't, Marina. Well, you know there's only one way to find out if you're as crazy as he is. How? Well. Hello, can I speak to the parents or guardian of uh, Marina Marbles? Yes, this is her. Well, hello, this is Mr. Baldwin from Truman Middle College. I'm calling in regards of Marina Marbles. Are you aware of her absence today? No. Are you sure it was her? Yes, I'm very sure it was her, but uh, I think we need to set up a conference. Okay, I'll be on my way. Let's play this video. Marbles, can you please come to the dean's office? What the hell is this? This is Pepper. So this is what you ditched school for? Seth told me all about it. Seth isn't even who you think he is. He makes you miserable. You! Don't speak. Marina, get this freak out of my face. Me and you are gonna go home and have a long talk about morals. You wanna talk about morals, but is it morally right to make your daughter date a psychopath? Oh, but he has a scholarship, right? Oh, yeah, but he's nuts, just like you. This entire thing is nuts. This is natural. Dad is not at all. But this, this isn't in the Bible. I'm not dealing with this. Where should we go? Anyway. 
I'll go anywhere with you. Huh. love like what does love mean to you Matt um, I mean in general love is I think family love is a lot stronger than relationship love um, but I mean in general I, I don't know I feel good about love I don't know and the third question I'm gonna ask you what steps would you take to change the world like if you were to change the world what steps would it, would it take to change the world yes I guess if I I mean, there's things we can do in our everyday lives to like change the world around us, but I guess making a bigger impact um, would be talking to people and the political background that are able to actually make a difference, but we could, we could do things ourselves. Hi, this is Joseph Lopez and Haley Hawkins at CTVN Hardcover News. The legalization of same-sex marriage has finally been passed all over the U.S. The first state to legalize same-sex marriage was Maryland in 2004, which led to acceptance of same-sex marriage throughout the entire country. Eventually, on June 26, 2015, the Supreme Court passed the Orville v. Hodges decision. Now we have reporters on the streets getting people's opinions on how the legalization of same-sex marriage could potentially change the definition of the traditional American family. I feel like it was overdue and it's a great thing in Canada. Canada did it 10 years ago. Other people want to be gay, then that's their business. I feel that we're in America, we have our rights, and that they should, like, they should have done that a long time ago that we have our freedom, that it's their choice. So I'm glad that they did legalize it. Like I have a friend and he's he wears like fur coats and all this stuff, people are very quick. But I think it takes a lot of courage to be who you are and that's all he's doing. I do have friends and I do have family members that are gay and, and lesbians. And I do respect them. You know what I'm saying, based on the fact that they're human beings. Well, I have a few family members that are like either gay or bi or lesbian, and me and my family were open and we're supportive about that, and we support them in their uh, whatever they want to do with their life. If you're a real family, you will love and respect each other. I feel that. It's, it, it really doesn't change the family values. Like, I feel like the kids would still grow up the same if they adopt or whatever. It's just that I feel that the only difference that it is is with other families, how they look at them. I hope that it can be whatever people want it to be, as long as they're happy and kids are happy. In the future, more recent, in the next few years, the families are going to become more diverse, either with more lesbian, gay, uh, couples, interracial couples. I like to act as perhaps is time for the change to continue for both the world and the society's general value system. This has been CTVN News. Thanks for watching. <laughs>